I'd like to introduce to you a company called Chalmers. Now, Chalmers in 2012 had a re in 2012 had a reported income of this is this would be operating income operating income of seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Now I wrote I wrote EBIT that's a capital I EBIT stands for earnings before interest in taxes. So this is they had seven hundred fifty thousand dollars of earnings before interest in taxes. Well then they had a two hundred thousand dollar interest payment uh, that they received that's two hundred thousand not two million two hundred thousand dollars from bank accounts and other areas so that's let's see if we can see this so they had operating income EBIT of seven hundred fifty thousand then they had interest of two hundred thousand well they also own this company called Harvey and now Harvey pays out something called dividends and so Harvey paid out twenty thousand dollars in dividends now Chalmers it is going to pay out a dividend to their stockholders stockholders of a hundred grand okay so here's what we've got we have an operating income of seven hundred fifty thousand dollars we have interest of two hundred thousand dollars we have dividends because they own a company called Harvey now here's what they do is they own eight percent of Harvey and by owning eight percent of Harvey they, they got twenty thousand dollars in dividend payments to themselves so this is like the income statement and then they have then they're gonna pay out money to their stockholders so which is gonna be a negative as it comes out of the accounts well what we want to do is we want to calculate for the E B T, which would be earnings before taxes. So let's take a look at the earnings before taxes of this particular company. So Chalmers, as we started looking at, we are going to look at again. This is Chalmers in 2012. We're, we are solving for E B T, so earnings before taxes. So we're going to take out the interest here. So we start off and say, all right, we have an operating income. Now this is just this is this is just operating income, not including the dividends that we received. Okay, so this is what we're looking at is we are looking at the operating income of seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. No, nothing else. That's the same thing as right here. The operating income of seven hundred fifty. So now they operate at let's see what do we have here we have the dividends so we're gonna take thirty percent of the dividends the Harvey dividends now why do we do that well what we're doing if we if we look back at some of our charts Harvey has this piece let's see if we can do this right here since they own less than twenty percent only 30% of the dividends are taxable. So let's take a number here. Let's take a look at this. So only 30% of the dividends are taxable. Now we received $20,000 in dividends. So the calculation would look like this. It would say 20% 20, 20,000 times 70%, okay? which would be 14,000 and then 20,000 minus 14,000 would be 6,000 or you could have multiplied it by 30% either way you want to get there so 30% now this is earnings before taxes so we're going to be taxed on this $6,000 amount so then from there the next pieces that we're going to go into is we're going to have the EBIT number the earnings before interest and in taxes earnings before interest and in taxes is going to be this it's going to be seven hundred fifty six thousand we're just going to add these all we're doing is adding these two numbers together so that's the EB earnings before interest and in taxes well all we're going to do is we're going to take out the interest 
Now the interest that we earned, as if we go back, was two hundred thousand dollars, right here, two hundred thousand dollars. So we're going to put that in parentheses so that it comes out. And then at this point, the EBT is two hundred twenty-six. Sorry, is five hundred fifty-six thousand dollars. So the EBT, which we're solving for is five hundred fifty six thousand dollars now this is the earnings before taxes this will lead us into how much we need to pay in taxes